Okay, we are going to look into the entity relationship diagram. All right, uh, inside our database, and this is the question. All right, uh, so we are supposed to underline the primary key right, for each of this table. So you have a patient table. All right, then you have a doctor table and appointment table. And after that, you are supposed to create an entity relationship diagram for this particular design. Now, if you would like to give yourself some time to think about this question, all right, I will suggest you pause the video all right, because later on I will go through the answers. So the first portion, the answers is uh, for patient table will be the patient ID and the doctor table will be the doctor ID. The problem that student will have is actually the appointment table. Okay, the appointment table will consist of a composite primary key, which is basically a primary key that is made up of two or more fields. And the field chosen is actually the appointment date and appointment time, not the doctor ID, patient ID. Now, the reason is because a patient can see the same doctor multiple times for appointment. So, under that type of rules and condition, uh, the primary key will not be unique. Okay, but, so, but we all know that primary key must be unique. So, a more appropriate composite primary key will be the date and time. Once you have this answer, then you will have your three entity, patient and doctor, right, which is your parent tables, right, and of course you have your appointment, okay, which consists of your foreign key, okay, and then you will be able to see the relationship. So a patient can have many appointments, and a doctor can entertain uh, multiple appointments. 